So I was feeling a little bit tired. So what I did, I made myself some spinach and potato soup. What's in it, I hear you ask? Fresh spinach, potato, leek, lentils and stock in whatever amounts you want to add but I think predominantly spinach and it's yummy Good morning on this beautiful morning it's just fantastic the sun is shining and Beautiful, just beautiful. Winds of up to 120 kilometers per hour up on the coast today. It's very, very stormy. With the storm comes lots and lots of energy. It's amazing. The flowers and the ribes are just bursting open. There's just so much joy at the moment because of the arrival of spring, you know, the visible arrival of spring. It's been with us since the 1st of February, but it's been slow in taking off. And now we can see it. it's just fantastic.
some beautiful kale growing in one of the little pottager beds out the front. And just behind it, aquilegia, foxgloves, and oxeye daisies. Hands on cherry and the buds are just beginning, just beginning to open. You can see. Ganesh, one of the protectors of the fairy wood. And these beautiful fairy thorns entwined with ivy.
Euphorbia is down here by the front gate and it's beginning to open up. The flowers are gorgeous. They look like little lime green aliens. Just see some of them opening up there and in behind the gate and they spread. They love to spread alongside water as well. Isn't that beautiful? And that's all around a plum tree. It's a very stormy, windy, windy day. And I've just come down to fill the bird feeders. I'll show you my little bucket of seed here. Well, nuts actually. So, <clears throat> brought the camera with me. Delighted to see little primroses out along the driveway. Do you know it's amazing because even just the little middle bit of the driveway is a perfect little breeding ground for wild flowers. And of course, do you know I'm always reluctant to use the word weeds because what is a weed? It's a flower or a plant in a place that you don't want it. And um, I welcome all the weeds, all the flowers, all the plants. There's the coltsfoot, look, the beautiful yellow, yellow flowers on that. And there's masses and masses of frog spawn. And I'm just looking over here, look, into the, into the little spillover bit, um, pond. But also... I'm hoping I don't get any water on the lens, but you just have to bear with me if, if that happens. Ah, can you see? Can you see the big clumps of frog spawn? That's the frog spawn in like the second stage where it's beginning, all the little spawn is beginning to turn into little tadpoles and they'll soon escape from that gelatinous mass. There's lots and lots of that all the way through the pond. And I can see a beautiful fern has made its way into the little bank there. You know, this little bed when I this little pond when I dug it out, I hand dug this little shallow out. This was just surrounded by rushes. But as the trees have grown around it, it's now become like a little woodland edge around the pond. So ferns are beginning to make it their habitat. And this, of course, is one of the lovely things that happens when you plant a woodland garden. I'm just going to shield this lens a bit. I'm walking into the wind here. Okay, now, there we go. Jack! Come on. Good boy. Oh, he says, that's lovely. I love to hear you whistle, Mum. <laughs> Oh. So, I've just come back from town and uh, let me just stand here for a little while in the shelter of the holly tree. Oh. I've just come back from town and it's absolute mayhem in there. Um, today, our Taoiseach, that's the Irish for leader, you know, president or, well not president, but leader. Um, I suppose it's president in the USA. Um, our Taoiseach announced that all the schools and colleges are closing from tomorrow. Well, from today, actually. They just don't open tomorrow. And um, so this is the first real kind of tangible sign that there is something quite serious happening, you see. And uh, as a consequence... Masses and masses of people have turned up at supermarkets. Now, of course, this won't last for long. This is just like an instant reaction to uh, the announcement, I suppose. Um, but the supermarkets were full, absolutely full. I mean, packed. When I get round to Aldi, <coughs> I'll have to scoot a bit, actually, <laughs> because it's hailstoning now. I've got one feeder left to fill, so I'll do that. Oh, this is quite a hill, this, you know, walking up. 
shelter from today's hair. <sighs> Come on, Jack, stand with me. <laughs> oh my word. We just clean this lens again. Okay. Okay. Now, do you know, I'll just step indoors until this passes. I'm not trying to get in. <laughs> oh my word, look at that. Look at that. Right, Jack. We made it through the storm. Look at you, you've got hailstones on your back. Now let me just clean this lens again. There we go. No. Oh, that was exciting, wasn't it? <laughs> so, where was I? Oh, yes. Um, yeah, so the place was packed. By the time I got in, um, I couldn't get into the supermarket car park, which is fast. And not even on Christmas Eve is that car park full like that. So I had to park out in the main road, which I did. And I walked in. Of course, <clears throat> the stuff that I was looking for was still there. In, you know, um, plentiful, plentiful supply. Because I was looking for dried pulses like lentils and split peas and stuff like that, you know? All that lovely healthy food that a plant-based woman eats. Um, and some plant milk. So I wasn't too bothered what kind of plant milk. I like the oat milk, because that's, you know, oats are grown here in the British Isles, so that's a little bit more um, uh, low carbon footprint, as they say. So, um, yeah, it looks as though it's getting quite serious now in terms of how the governments are taking it, how governments are approaching it. So I just stand by my initial advice and my, my advice all the way down through the 16 years of the Bealtaine Project, which is, you know, for good health, hand washing is essential. I have always done that, and I've never, I've never really believed in um, using, um, you know, very hard chemicals or anything like that. In fact, I don't like them, and I don't like bleach and that kind of stuff. But just soap and water, and take the time to wash your hands. Don't be in a rush. Why would you rush through your personal health? and your personal hygiene, because your personal hygiene is the essential foundation for your personal health, is it not? So uh, that and, you know, drinking lots of water and taking vitamin C, you know, I just take that, you know, the soluble vitamin C that you get that you pop into a glass of water and it's 1000 milligrams. I have always believed in that. Um, and this is going back decades, by the way, because when I was a smoker, and I was a chain smoker, I could have smoked <laughs> for my country if there had been an Olympics smoking contest. <laughs> I'd have puffed my way through and probably won the gold. But um, I remember reading, uh, oh gosh, it must be 30 or 35 years ago, I remember reading that smoking one cigarette depletes your body of vitamin C and that vitamin C is the one vitamin that your body cannot hold on to. So what happens when you get vitamin C, you know, when you eat something that's filled with vitamin C, whatever, your body takes the vitamin C that it needs at that point in time and then excretes the rest in your, in your urine. And, uh, so I thought, oh, this is important. So as a smoker, I began to take vitamin C, and I always have done. 
And uh, then, of course, I remember reading that um, vitamin C is an essential vitamin, you know, for healthy skin. So, in other words, it is one of those vitamins that benefits regeneration because your skin is continually regenerating, you know. And um, so... That's probably why, actually, considering the fact that I chain-smoked for about 30 or 35 years. I mean, I was a big smoker. Um, my skin is still reasonably good. Like, it's not... You wouldn't look at my skin and think, oh, that's the skin of a chain-smoker. So there has to be something in the vitamin C thing, you know? So anyway, I continue to take vitamin C because it just makes me feel, it actually makes me feel good. So again, that's something that I, is, is not a science-based statement. It's something that comes from my own experience. So, huge believer in vitamin C and um, there's been some very interesting studies done over the past 10 years on that, by the way. Um, so there you go. Now, I started off down at, the <laughs> down at the gate, down at the entrance, filling bird feeders. I've got one left to fill. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say blessings to you all. And I'm so pleased with all the feedback that I'm getting from you all on the new video format you know where I just put in little little cameos and um, that allow you to see more of what I see and uh, look at the boy look <laughs> oh, my darling friend aren't you yeah can never be lonely with Jackie O here. Yes. <laughs> Look at you, you still got wee droplets of wet all over you all over your hind there. So blessings to you all and um, stay well, don't get vexed. Don't go out rushing round panic buying because you're bound to pick up germs. <laughs> <laughs> the villagers are are storming the shops. <laughs> Stay well away. <laughs> and for some bizarre reason, they're buying all the toilet rolls. Now, the one thing that the coronavirus does not give you is the runs. There we go. I've got to go. Blessings to you all. <laughs> <laughs>